Hi and welcome to another episode of Reaper TV. In this week's video we're going to be checking out how we can work with folders and effects. Now I worked with folders in the past and I've showed you in a few different videos about using these but one of the things I want to show you today is specifically how you can use folders to deal with effects being used to multiple tracks. So let's take a look at how we can do all of that right now. So we've looked previously at how to set up track folders and in this video example I'm going to show you the reason why we use those over and above just keeping everything grouped together. So at the moment I've got two tracks. I've got these guitar tracks which have no effects applied to them whatsoever and they're own dedicated tracks, they're not child tracks of any folder. So what we're going to do is we're going to see how we can free up resources on your system to make sure that you don't keep duplicating the same kind of EQ and compression and things along those lines to every single time you want to use it. So let's just say for example we're going to use the same guitar tone for both of these guitars so we're going to use an instance of something along the lines of easy mix but if I put onto each individual track we have two instances of that VST being used which takes up twice the resources but we don't need to. So Let's quickly parent these tracks together. So I'm just going to create a new track, take that above, and we're just going to hit this little folder icon, and that will indent any of the tracks below it, so they now become child tracks of this parent. So let's just give that a name, and we'll call this Guitar Master. And we'll call this Guitar Left and Guitar Right. And finally, we'll just set those to be panned left and right. So if we just solo this out a second, you can listen to the guitars, and they are just DI tracks. Just plain DI tracks, nothing done to them whatsoever. Now normally you go into the effects section and you'd add in individual effects for each one of those tracks. Well, to speed things up and make life just a little bit easier, let's do that on the master track or the folder track. So what we're going to do is click on the effects, that'll open this up for us and we can now drop in any effect that we want on this. So let's go for Easy Mix for ease of use, we'll drop that onto the track, that'll bring up Easy Mix. Now let's just move this out of the way a second so we can see what we're doing. So there's our tracks, if we play them back, still the DI. But if we come up to this now and I just go through and choose my favourite track, we'll use aggression on this example, we'll dial back the gain on there a little bit for this particular track. So let's hit play now. And both those DI signals now have that VST effect applied to them but only one instance is being used. So if we just take that off, let's just close this down a second, and we'll just mute the effect on the master track. Hit play. So as you can see, that's quick and very, very easy and freeze up the resources because only one instance is being used. Now you're not limited to only using them on the master track. If we wanted to EQ these guitars differently to give them some slight differences in this sound, we could easily do that by coming into the individual track and making any changes you want in there. So we can EQ that and we can EQ this in a different way. Just put some crazy EQs in there and we'll do the same on the next track. We'll come up and we'll just drop an EQ on there and we'll do a completely different EQ on that. And now if we play them back, each individual track now has the ability to have its own effects placed on there and you can use the master or the folder to put effects that you want to use across all of those different tracks on there. So it's a very quick and easy way of being able to use one effect multiple times over multiple tracks. And that's really all there is to it. Very, very simple. Frees up the resources, makes everything easy, and then you can apply individual effects if you need to on each individual track and effects you want to use across all of those tracks in the effects folder. Simple. Well, I hope you found this video useful. I hope it's given you an insight into how you can speed up your process of creating your audio with Reaper. 
If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to be kept up to date with all of the new content we add every single week. And until next time, happy mixing.